Hello there, good morning everyone. How are you today? We're busy on, um, on YouTube already. Hello Christine, Joyce and Sue and Ginny Jones. Hello Marie and Joan and Angela's in Southern Ireland. Hello Anna, morning. It's wet in Devon, says Mandy. It's lovely here. Well, it's cold, but you know, but it's very nice. Um, hello Bernadette. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi Pauline. Oh, she's in a sick bed this morning. Oh. Uh, so I'm wishing you the best. We're all crossing our fingers and wishing you well. Um, hello, Cheryl. I'm very good, thank you very much. Hello, Ruby, Coco. Uh, morning, Jackie. Um, everything is good at Short Hours. Thank you very much, Sarah. Um, hi, Sally. Hi, Joanne. Anybody sewing along today? I, I was a bit late getting the ingredients out to you. Um, if you had your um, newsletter from Half Yard Club, you would have had all of the materials list to make the little angel um, that we're going to do today. Um, otherwise, sorry, I only put it on yesterday, didn't I? Forgot. Take all the blame for that. Do apologise. But that's, that's basically what we're going to be making um, today. Um, hello, Aya. In, um, in Canada, Gillian's cold and damp in the south of Scotland. Well, Gillian might not be, but the weather is down there. Um, hello, Sharon. Hello, Alison. Hello, Celia. Sorry if I've missed anybody. Hi, Claire. Um, beautiful rainy morning in St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the Caribbean. Oh, Carol, how wonderful. Because even on a beautiful rainy morning, it's going to be warm, isn't it? Um, oh, hi, uh, Alan's feeling better. Lovely. Um, morning, Chris. Thought I might be late putting the washing out. Really? Housework on a Saturday morning? Um, Elaine's at a craft fair, doing well so far. Oh, good. Oh, well done. Hopefully it's going to get busier and busier. Hello, Anne in Australia. It's chilly in New York, says Janet. Um, hello, Olive. Hello to you. Um, <laughs> Wendy's been spending on my shop with her 20% off. Yeah, she says. Yeah, good for you. Uh, Anne's all sent, uh, set up for sewing along. Lovely. Um, Lynn's sewing, but she's sewing a winter coat. <laughs> a bit more of a challenge than a little angel, isn't it? Um, now, this isn't something that I've invented. They, they, you know, they are out there. I think um, one of my design team, Jackie, made one of these for one of the magazines I used to write for years ago. But I just thought they're, they're nice and quick and simple and a little bit of fun. So we'll get on with that in just a second. Um, we'll have a... Um, oh, sorry, Linda. Oh, that's really sad. Um, <laughs> Claire's got ironing to do, but no way now. Andrea, angels, they, these would look nice on your bus, wouldn't they? Dangling on your bus. Um, Leslie's going Christmas shopping. I hate shopping. Do all mine online. I went into Stamford yesterday. I had to park about half a mile out of the town and it was absolutely packed. Yeah, hate it. Um, Okay, so you could make a gnome angel. That's a good one, Alan. A gnome angel. Now, have a quick chat about the Half Yard Club because it is Half Yard Club last of the month Saturday, so to speak, if that's, that's a name for it. Um, your projects that's coming out on Thursday, on the 1st, is the polar bear. Um, the instructions are the white polar bear. The video I made him in the, in the tan colour. And he's got his little scarf on there, look, with um, with a bit of Christmas applique on it. It's quite a big chap as well. Now, I've used um, Safety Eyes and Nose. I do give you, in the instructions, a little pattern to make a felt nose, if you prefer to do that. Um, we don't have the Safety Eyes. We have Safety Eyes, I think. can't remember. But I haven't got noses on the website. But I had a look on Amazon, and they do a set of two eyes and a nose. Um, and I think it's £3.75 or something like that. So if you wanted to make them with the safety eyes, then have a look on Amazon. That, I mean, they do packets with or boxes with loads of them in, but if you just want two eyes and one nose, they have got, um, have got an offer on there for those. Um, it's made out of fleece which is very forgiving. It's very easy to work with. It doesn't fray and um, it's, it's forgiving as in it's got a little bit of stretch so it makes all the pattern pieces easy to put together because there is some easing, uh, you know, fitting the arms into the armholes and things like that. Um, I haven't made in from cotton. I don't think it would work quite as well as a stretchy fabric, but you could make in from jersey, t-shirt fabric or that kind of thing. Would have a stretch velvet would be very nice as well. Or if you've got a faux fur with a bit of give in it, that would work as well. Oh, Sarah's just had a fleece arrive to make the bear on Thursday. Um, 
yeah so that's that's first of the month so that's when your next project comes out and also on thursday um i'll be showing you the next block of the month which will be released on the first of uh, first of january because it's the it's a 12 month block but i will give you a tease next week i might do a, i might do a quick live on thursday just to show you and we will have kits available for the top of the quilt in the shop on the debbie shaw sewing website they're 62 pounds but you're getting six and a half meters of fabric because that's what you need to make the top of the quilt but it's only for the top and the binding you will need your own backing fabric and you'll need your own wadding i can't remember how much off the top of my head but i'll let you know next thursday when we when you show the pattern on the first um how can i join the group to get the patterns for the first of the month what you need to do tina i shall show you I'm a bit squeaky then i don't know why so when you go to the halfyardsewingclub.com this is what you're going to find so i'm not logged in at the moment but this is it so it's just halfyardsewingclub.com and you can watch a video if you like. In fact, let's have a look at this because this kind of sums up what, what it's all about. So have a listen to this. Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my Hold Yard Sewing Club. As a member, on the first of each month, you receive a brand new project and that includes instructions, a downloadable pattern and a video. Then halfway through the month, you receive a second project and these can be anything from dressmaking to homewares, toys and bags. There's also a block of the month where we build up 12 blocks so that you can create a beautiful quilt by the end of the year. The growing tips and techniques section is filled with useful advice and I hope you'll join in the conversations on Ask a Member. You'll also have a notebook where you can write notes on each project and don't forget to keep an eye on the offers page. So click on the subscribe button and I'll see you here soon. There you go, so that's what that's all about. <laughs> um, you've got all of the details here price-wise, so it's £5.99 a month. Um, if you go for a whole year, then it's £60. So you can join today. You can also buy a gift subscription without logging in. Um, but let me just sign in and I'll show you how it works. So you can have a free month if you wish. So all you need to do then when you go to, to sign up is to put the code WELCOME in capital letters in the coupon box at checkout. Um, there's your November project. So as you just saw in that quick little commercial, um, one main project and one secondary project. So the main project that you're working on at the moment is this one and the secondary project is the three cushions which are actually behind me. So those don't have a video. This, this one will have a video. I wonder if anybody's made any yet because you can post your pictures on here as well. Oh, there you go, look. So these are all of the ones that, that you've been making. Oh, in the same fabrics as well. Oh, they're really lovely. Oh, thank you for that. I love to see what you make, what you're making. So you can put your pictures next to the projects um, if you want to and share those. What we also have on here, which I touched on just then, is the um, where are we? Ask a member. I've got a question to ask on here. I know. There we go. Um, Helen's making uh, some Maddie dolls. I know the instructions say use flesh colour fabric. She wants to know if she can use a um, a jersey. So we'll have a look at that. These are all of your projects. Now the first day that you join you will have two years worth of projects to choose from. So all of these projects are going to be available for you and all of the projects stay on the website for a whole two years and you can see it is varied. We've got hats and bags and curtains, dressmaking, patchwork, there's the doll's house, the bag. Maddie is on there still, no, they're ragdoll. There's a bow tie that's nice for Christmas maybe. These are cosy, these will keep you really warm. Um, jersey hats, um, sewing machine cover, so that, that, it, it's, it's really varied. It's not all quilting, not all dressmaking, not all bag making. There's a little bit, of, um, little bit of everything in here. So all of these projects you will get on the first day that you join up. You'll have access to everything. So that would be 48 projects in total, plus three blocks of the month. As from next week, that will be four blocks well January that'll be four blocks of the month um, and those don't come down 
So all of the projects stay on the website for two years. You will be notified when they're going to be taken down and you'll have an opportunity to save a video link. Um, it's a Vimeo video so that you can always access um, the project. So you'll get warning. You need to sign up to the newsletter to, um, to get hold of those. However, you can access the newsletter on the website now as well. So if you haven't received it or if it's gone into your spam or you've deleted it by mistake, then you can have a look on the, uh, on the website and you'll find, the, you'll find them on there. Um, oh, thank you, Alice. Happy half your day to you too. Leanna's going to watch later. Okie dokie, Leanna. Um, it'll be okay in your house, will look amazing. Oh, talking to each other, lovely. Yeah, so that's the way that it works. Um, so two years worth of projects, 48 projects, half of those with video, half of them with just instructions, and what else can I tell you about it? Oh, lots of offers as well. You'll be privy to sales. You'll get 30% off any of my books. That's a bigger discount than I can offer you. And that'll, that'll be a link to the Search Press website. Um, you'll also have um, special offers coming through every month on different books and things from Search Press as well, because I run this with Search Press, my publisher. And we get, we're getting really big now. Um, strikes. Oh, we're getting strikes. Oh, no. Just posted Rosie the Reindeer on. Oh, lovely. I'll have a look at that later on. Um, making the... Angel for the festival. That's a nice idea, Barbara. Um, make a camera bag. You could you could adjust the 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 doggy bag for a camera bag. I think that's around about the same, the right kind of size. Because I don't know how big the camera is. Um, but this is one of the projects you may have seen, which I designed for walkers, sports people, dog walkers. Um, but that would make a nice size for a camera bag as well, I think. And you can have it as a, a bum bag. So it has the handle across the top, which is detachable. But then you can undo this and slip it through these two loops at the back. And then you can make it into a, um, into a bum bag. So I think that would be a nice one for a camera as well. Um, oh, yes, Bridget, thank you. If you are a member of the Half Yard Club, just want to explain as well, the Half Yard Club is a different website to Debbie Shaw Sewing. Completely different. Debbie Shaw Sewing is a shop. Half Yard Club is the Half Yard Club. That, that, there's nothing to buy on there. The links for the books and everything will take you through to another website. So the only thing you buy on there is the subscription. But if you are a member of the Half Yard Club, you'll be given a code on the website that will give you 10% off on the Debbie Shaw Sewing website. On anything that you order, you will always have 10% off. If we do any other offers, like we are this weekend, we've got a 10% off sale. There's a code that you put in for the 10% off, which is BLACK10 in capital letters. And members can use their code as well, so you're getting 20% off. Only till Monday, uh, sorry, Sunday at 8 o'clock as well. Hello, Rona. Will I be getting the muddy book back? Yes, Beverly. Um, it was on pre-order. I need to pre-order some more because it's not coming out until January. And that should be there on Monday. So, yes, they, they'll be going back on again on Monday. Oh, hi, Lisa. How are you? You okay? Thanks for joining us this morning. I wasn't really expecting you. Um, I use canvas, Diane, to make it. It's just a, a grey a gray canvas fabric. It's nice and sturdy. Actually, if you've still got any in stock, we've got waterproof grey canvas. Same colour, looks just like this, but it's waterproof. That would be a nice one for walking the dogs, wouldn't it? Not that I ever get wet when I'm walking my dog because she won't go out in the rain. Um, we get, yeah, so that's that. Right, should we do a little bit of sewing? If you've got any questions about the Half Yard Club, please do come and ask. Um, I say we do do gift certificates. If anybody wants to give a hint to somebody for Christmas, then um, there are gift certificates on there. Um, Karen, if you go to About Me, I think it is, it's either About Me or the blog, I can't remember. I'm sure somebody let me know. On the website, you'll see the code there. Caught her live even on holiday from the UK for three months in Australia. Oh, Carol, how lovely. She's made stockings, tablecloth, advent calendar, and various tree decorations. Um, that's all right, Tina. Oh, is it? Oh, is it, Laura? OK, we'll get some more of that, I'm sure. I'm sure we can get more of that one. Um, I don't think he's watching at the moment because she's taking Vienna to a birthday party. But I'll have a I'll have a word with her. There's no video for that one, Diane, um, because it was a secondary project. You get a, a video for the first project, but not for the second one. 
Um, no problem, Teresa. John's got a pink parcel. Eve says, good morning. The question is how I sign up. Halfyardsewingclub.com. Use the code WELCOME in capital letters and you can try it for a free month. So in that free month, you've still got access to 48 projects. I was thinking, because um, I've, I've been looking around, I don't normally look around and compare and stuff like that. I should do maybe. Um, but price wise, our £5.99 is so cheap for what you get. So cheap. Um, not not going to put it up or anything like that. I think um, it's great. It's not so cheap. It's great value. That's better. Because I was looking at um, patterns and things like that and patterns for toys like that. Even if you if you if you have a download, you're going to be paying around about that price for one pattern. So when he comes out on Thursday, if you join up now, obviously you'll get him on Thursday, you'll have your free month. So for your £5.99, if it was just that pattern, that would be great value. But your £5.99, you get 48 projects. Don't know how many patterns are in there, because not everything needs a pattern. But that's, um, that's a lot. You get a lot. Um, thank you, Diane. She says, Half Yard Club is brilliant value. I spent hours looking around there. Um, uh, the, the, yes, Irene, the cushions behind me are made with three of the blocks from the block of the month. And those are your secondary projects, so they're on the website now. So um, I don't, I, I, when you go to this project, you don't see how to make the blocks because you need to go to the block of the month. I'm not sure if the girls have put a link directly to those. But yes, this year's block of the month, three blocks from there. And yes, you do get the instructions for the, um, the cushion covers. Oh, thank you, Teresa. I don't look at other clubs, to be honest. Uh, Sylvia says, yes, Half Yard Club is really good value. Lovely club as well. That's the bonus. Um, Nora says, you can ask for a Half Yard Sewing Club subscription for Christmas. It's a lovely gift. I think so. Oh, it's seven ninety nine on some site. Is it? Oh. Uh, does the Maldives book cover making... Oh, is that Maddie? The Maddie book? No, it's just... Um, just Maddie in the Maddie book. There's Maddie and Mo, her dog. I've got Mo. I haven't got Maddie here. I don't know where Maddie is. Um, right, there's a link to the blocks in the pattern. Thank you, Angela. Because I don't do that bit. I do, I do the creative. I make the stuff. We all come up with ideas. We have a production meeting twice a year down at Search Press's office to talk about what we're going to be doing for the next six months. And then I just send everything down there and the girls edit and... Um, draft up the pattern so they're professional and they put everything onto the website. We also have a marketing team down there as well. So um, any emails that are sent out or you send in, go, go straight to them. So thank you for checking on that one. I didn't think to look. Um, Linda says it's great value for me. Thank you. Right. Let's do a bit of sewing. So... I haven't cut out my circles yet, but I've got all my bits together ready to go. Sorry if that was a bit noisy and crackly. Here we go. So I'm going to make mine out of these two fabrics this time. So I'm just going to switch the iron on, that would help. Oh, Bridget says, your website and videos are very professional. It's fab value to be a member of the Half Yard Club. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It, we work really hard on it. And uh, there are, um, let's count them up. There's me and Kim. And, of course, Gary does all the photography. So there's three of us up here. And then, <coughs> excuse me, there's Emily, who's the editor. Caroline, who came up with the whole idea in the first place. And then we have um, Emma, who does the patterns. We have a proofreader called Betsy and then we have marketing which is Sophie and Claire so there's nine of us working on the website and ev everybody is is so passionate and so excited and you know that we, we put an awful lot of hard work into into everything actually customer service is paramount um, uh, quite often, if you email them at the weekend, you'll get an email back again. Above and beyond to work weekends, but, you know, that's what they like to do. And, uh, but yeah, they, the girls get some really nice compliments about customer service. We do try to accommodate. Carol's birthday on Thursday. Um, 
Suzanne says, I love my Muddy and Robin and the Half Yard Sewing Club, but I'm still going to buy the book. It's all new outfits in the book. So I will put it back again on Monday. While my iron's heating up, have a quick look. You can order from, um, from the Search Press website. That'll be on pre-order. Because again, it's coming out in January. It'll be launching on Create and Craft um, on the 15th of January in the next um, Seamless Sunday show. But if you wanted to pre-order, you can either go through the Half Yard Sewing Club website and you'll get 30% discount. Those won't be signed because they come directly from the publishers. You can order directly from Search Press if you're not a Half Yard Club member. Use the code DD105 for um, a 20% discount. Or well, you can order from me. I can't afford to discount my own books, I'm afraid. But if you want it signing, then put something in the customer notes who you'd like it signing to. So she's got loads of outfits, look, which you can adapt and make them longer or shorter and everything if you wish. She's got her dressing gown, she's got pyjamas, and of course she's got a little dog as well. So, yep, you've got the a, a slightly modified body, eyebrows this time. And she's a big girl, look. And... Um, but you can still use the original Maddie with all of the new outfits. So none of them are the same. We don't cross them over. Right, I'm just going to put my interfacing on the wrong side of my fabric. Now, with the little angel that I made first of all, I didn't put any interfacing on it, and I thought it was a bit floppy. I wish there was more help doing the block of the month. I've struggled on my own. Oh, Julie, I, if, you, if you've got any problems, go to the Ask a Member bit. Um, I don't, oh, that's another one. That's 10 of us then, because Melissa uh, designs the Half Yard Club projects. But if you put a question on there, if you're struggling with anything, somebody will answer you. Um, if it's a very technical question, we can always pass those on to Melissa. But um, don't, don't feel that you're on your own putting it together. Don't struggle with it. <coughs> Sorry, just ask the question. Oh, one's rejoined because she couldn't bear not to. <laughs> Oh. oh, Patrice, not a good time to have your dryer packed in when we're coming up to winter, is it? Uh, Sarah says, anyone thinking about joining the Half Yard Sound Club, do it. Best value for money, club, fantastic projects, an amazing world, my community, willing to help you out at any time. Thank you, Sarah. We are worldwide. We've got members in, in all four corners of the world. Why do we say that when the world's round? Never understood that. Anyway, so... So then I need to draw a six inch circle. <coughs> so I'm just using this. So I'll need two six, in six inch circles. So I'm going to cut those two pieces out together. So I've gone quite concentrating, you see. Anybody joining up today, come and let us know. And again, if you've got any questions, do come and ask them. Yeah, so they're, they're, we're quite a friendly bunch, I have to say. It is a nice place to be in the Half Yard Club. All right. Okay, nearly, nearly that, nearly that. All right, here. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got frog in my throat today. And then these two pieces, we're going to sew these right sides together all the way around. So I'm just putting those so that um, the pattern's the same way up on both of them. There we go. Whoops, knocking everything off today. So I'm just using quarter of an inch seam allowance and we're going to sew all the way around the edge. Not with a zigzag stitch, I'm not. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you know, I was doing that free motion malarkey the other day, wasn't I? And I've left my feed dogs down. Right. That's better. So just take your time sewing around in the circle. What I like to do is to look at a certain point on my sewing machine foot and feed the fabric in to that point 
I get loads of questions about sewing in circles. The other thing that you could do would be to use, I'll show you in a sec, um, a foot that has a guide on it. So that could be a blind hem foot or an over edge foot if you have one. Am I back to the beginning yet? I can't see. So I'll just come back here. So if you have a foot, let's see what's in here. That one would do. It's got a guide on it. So you can line that up against the edge of your fabric and feed the fabric up to the guide. That's the same if you're doing a plique as well. And that's going to make it quite easy to sew around in circles. That's got a guide on it as well. That might be a better one. That's my quarter inch foot. Um, yeah, an over edge foot or anything like that would do just as well. Right, so decide which is going to be the front and which is going to be the back. And whichever one you decide is going to be um, on the outside, so in other words, like the, um, the pink on my angel here, we're going to make a hole in that one. So part the two pieces. If you've got a directional fabric, make sure that your fabric is the right way up. Part those two pieces, and we're just going to make a little hole so that we can turn this the right side out. You're not going to see that, don't worry about it. So let's, you can trim down, if you've got pinking shears actually, I haven't got mine down here, but if you've got pinking shears, maybe go around the edge with that. I shan't bother with this one. Um, thank you. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, Laura says, well done for getting the blocks. Um, oh, you've gone. How strange. Um, oh, sorry, talking to each other. All oh, right. Um, so I just need to do that. Um, have you paused or is it me? I d did I pause? No, I don't think I've paused. <laughs> I haven't paused here, Anne. Um, reload if you're having trouble. Okay, so love it when you talk to each other. Right, so now we're going to turn this the right side out. Denise has rejoined after a short break due to COVID. Oh, hope you're all right now. Glad you're back again anyway. So let's just pull this through. We're not going to close it, Alan. We don't need to close it on this one because it's going to be hidden. Um, I may have made the hole a little small here. Ordered last Saturday, still waiting for my fabric. Oh no, Christine. The thing is, it takes ages for them to catch up. We um, and Anything over £25, we send out with DPD and they pick up twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays and do next day delivery. Um, under £25, the post would be just too much, so that's, that's why we do it that way. Dropping very heavy hints about Half Yard Club to my husband. There are gift vouchers, yes, gift vouchers and a free month. Keep on at him, Alison. And if he doesn't pick up on it, do it yourself. <sighs> Tina, if you go to... Um, let me show you. Let me show you what you do. You will have to fill in all of your details and you'll have to put in your credit card details. Um, it's just the way that it works, but you won't be charged if you use the coupon. So let me just go back up here. Let's go back to the top and log out. And log out. Thank you. So join today. So enter all of your details in here. You agree to terms and conditions. Oh, I can't do all of that, can I, here, without actually creating an account. Agree to the terms and conditions. Tick that you'd like to receive the newsletters and project information, and then go to create account. Sorry, I thought I'd be able to show you without actually making a new account. When you go to your account, or when you go to the next page, there'll be a coupon box at the top. I think it, it just says coupon box or coupon, enter coupon here, something like that, and put the word in there. 
and then you won't be charged. Then you'll get your free months. Um, I should have said I'm a member, but that is what I have asked if I wasn't a member. So I'm sorry, I missed your comment, Eve. Let me just go backwards and see see if I can see you. Sorry about that. Hi, Rita. Um, Oh, I'm missing loads of you. Sorry about that. I can't, I can't see your, your original message. Um, maybe you can post it again. Gets tired and join the World Cup agenda. Oh, I'm glad he's... Well, he seems to be perking up, Anne. Um, oh, Julianne, we'll see you again next time. Right, let's iron this circle. Um, you could top stitch around the edge if you wish. And there we go. So I have an oil in the back. But when um, we fold over the collar, I'm going to fold it over there and then that wraps around so you don't actually see the hole. And then the wings are glued on the back anyway. So even if you've made your hole a little further down, then um, that, that'll be absolutely fine. OK, so we'll put that to one side for just a second while we make um, the face. So I've, I've cut, that, that's one and three quarter inches and I think that's, that's a nice size for this size of, um, of angel. So if you have maybe a, a two inch circle template, if you haven't got anything exactly the same size, then draw your circle on, on here and then just cut slightly inside it till it measures one and three quarter inches. Or if you've got a button, a large button would work absolutely fine. That would work really well as well. So I'm going to, oh, I need hand sewing needle and thread, do I not? Um, so let's find one. That's sad. I like a skinny needle. I don't know about you. I like a skinny needle with a round eye, personally. And some thread. So it's my strong thread because we're going to gather with this one. Um, it is a cute angel, isn't it, Eve? I was really pleased with it. I hadn't got any Christmas fabric, but I, didn't, I really don't think it matters. And angels aren't just for Christmas. Angels are for all year round as well. It could be a little guardian angel for somebody, maybe hanging over a child's bed or something. Um, oh, Lisa, I'm sorry. Rita, it's Rita from Shropshire. So every time, it's not a common name, so to say Rita from the US name, I look up thinking, are you talking to me? <laughs> I'm talking to you this time, Rita. Hi, Rita. <laughs> Rita in the States has just poked up now as well. There we go. OK. I'm going to hold this in place with a little bit of glue. Um, what have we got? I forgot one of those. Yes. So. Oh, I have got glue in there. I normally run out. So this is my wadding. It could be another little bit of felt. And I think that's particularly important if you're, um, if you're using a button, because we don't want to see the holes in the button on the right side. So if you haven't got any glue, don't worry about it. But that just goes over the one side here. And then let's do a running stitch around the edge of the larger circle, just to gather this up. And this is, um, I think this was three inches across, if I remember rightly. Um, oh, Elizabeth made a little angel for a mum to have in a nighty in hospital. That's a lovely idea. Uh, Janet and everyone, lovely fabric from CNC came. I've ordered loads from the Black Friday set. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we did. We did get a. We did get a little carried away. Strong thread, Helen. I always have a little bit of this in stock. What's it called? Can't see. Um, it's buttonhole thread, basically, so it's thick. So you can tell if it's strong if you can't... I can't actually break that. <coughs> That's really strong. So buttonhole thread's really strong. Um, jeans thread is strong. Um, or just thicker threads like this. Or embroidery floss, if you use some embroidery thread, maybe a couple of strands of those. 
or what's this one? That's another strong one. Um, I don't know what that one's called, but it's just thick. So if you have a look at those two. I don't know if you can take note of the numbers. We don't sell them on the website. Um, CA02776, that's the same number, so that must be the same type of thread. Otherwise, double your thread up. If you don't have any, you know, don't rush out and buy some just for this. Just use two strands of thread to make it thicker. Um, oh, morning, Jean. So is it Jean or Jack? Oh, it's Jean. Hello. Um, never had any problems with any Gutterman thread. No, I, I like a Gutterman thread. And I don't really mind whether it's cotton polyester or cotton or polyester or both. I tend to use a lot of polyester threads because they can be stronger than cotton sometimes. Okay, so we've gathered that up. So this goes in the middle of here. And then we can pull that up together all the way around. And again, you're not going to see the back of this, so don't worry too much about neatness. So let's just knot this off here. And there we go. So we're all ready for Christmas. Anybody started early? We are having decorations up um, next weekend because we haven't got the kids this Christmas. So we thought we'd uh, get them over next weekend and do it all early. All right, so we have that. And that we can put to one side while we do the wings. So you'll have your um, piece of paper as a template, which is two inches across by four and a half inches down. Now, if you've got a two inch circle template, just something round, you can use that. Otherwise, we're just going to round off the top of this. I'm just going to fold that in half so it's symmetrical. Oh, not too bad, actually. So there we go, like that. So again, if you've got something round, an egg cup or something that you can draw around, if you don't want to do it freehand, then use that. And then <clears throat> I'll need two sets of wings. So lay this on your fabric. I'm using an, an erasable ink pen and just draw around there. And then place this at right angles and draw around that bit. And there's your wings. So we'll need two. Again, I, I used one in these and I just thought it was a little bit floppy. So I'm doing two this time. So let's line up the edge there and just cut those out. And then we'll hand sew them together. So that might take a little while, but that's, that's what we're going to do. So that is that, basically. That's a little bit longer, actually, isn't it? That's fine. And I'll just need to iron away the pen marks. That was easy. Right, so that's done with that. So did, did you get that bit? I'm just looking to see if I've got a piece of paper so I can show you again, because you might just want to make that onto, um, or put that onto a, a template. That'll do. So, Let me use a Sharpie if I've got one. So basically that's the one piece. So just make sure it didn't, my pen didn't go through. And then put it at right angles and draw around that one. And that's your heart shape. That's quite easy to do. Okay, then these two are going to go together. 
and I'm going to hand sew around the edge with embroidery thread. Did I split that? Yes, I did. I'm asking myself questions and answering them. That's, that's a sign of something, isn't it? Um, late to the party. Well, hello, Caroline. Well, at least you came along. Right, let us. Thank you, Gina. Figured that one out all by myself. It, it's quite. I'm just splitting this into two. If you've got some of that thick thread, actually, I could have used just a thick thread, couldn't I? Maybe that would be easier. No, we'll do this. No, I've cut it. I'm doing it. It's very easy to split these into twos, isn't it? But um, split into six into three, they never seem to want to do it. So I'm just going to do a running stitch around the edge. If you don't like hand sewing, absolutely no need to do that at all. You could machine sew them together or glue them, to be honest. It's not something that's going to go in the wash. In the wash, I should say. Um, else it's, it, it was quite, it's quite easy, isn't it, when you sit and figure it out. See, I'm getting all knotty now. How are you doing at home with it? So let's just do this. I think that will go through that needle. And then again, just a running stitch straight around the edge. So let's get this threaded up. Maybe I should use a large eyed needle. Oh no, there we go. Okay. And in there. So where in the world are we today? Have you got anybody new who hasn't um, hasn't been on the, on any of the lives before? Come and say hello. Um, it does tangle, I know, Lorraine. I'm, I'm not careful enough. I'm going to put the knot inside the two pieces. So that's out of the way. And then literally running stitch all the way around. You could secure that with a little bit of wet glue or your glue stick if you wanted to. And I'm just doing a nice big stitch. This is it's quite nice actually if you've got more time to do this to maybe um, do a little cross stitch on there as well. We could, we could maybe do that. Just a little decoration. Um, I said I think in the ingredients list if you have some sparkly thread then that would look very nice and Christmassy. Or well, sparkly felt actually would look nice as well. So I'm not worried about the stitches being particularly even. I, I like that handmade kind of look when they're not. Shop with a large eye. Thank you. Is that, is that one of those? I've got so many of these needles knocking about. I forget what they're designed to do. Okay, so just, just keep going around there. Um, Bernadette would like to buy the quilt blocks this year. The ones that, that we're doing in the kits, Bernadette, um, we've got loads, we've got hundreds of them. And they'll be coming in next, no, 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 no here, aren't they? Um, yeah, they? They arrived on pallets, we've got so many of them. So you should be okay. Hopefully you'll be okay. We can put some more together if not. Um, just to mention as well, if, if for things like the block of the month or any of the projects for that matter, you don't have to buy the fabric from me. So please don't feel, you know, that, um, that you have to. You can get your fabrics from anywhere you want to. So, for instance, with the quilt for next month, they're all, uh, they're all blenders. There's no particular patterned fabric. So like with this, um, this year's quilt was well, Christmassy, so we use Christmas fabrics. Uh, these aren't. They're all, they're all blenders. So, um, so don't, don't feel that you have to buy a kit to make the quilt. You can use any fabric you like. Um... <laughs> Lisa's house cats arrive on pallets. <laughs> oh, Alison's first life. Hello, welcome along. Um, she's in Eastbourne. So, what's, 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 what's up with Sharon? So, I keep missing all of your emails. Oh, just placed an order but forgot to add the discount code. Yeah, drop me an email. Um, if, you've, if you've forgotten to put your discount code in there, let me know. Please try and remember to put your discount code in because it takes me ages to go back and do everything manually. Um, not complaining. 
at all. Quite happy to do that, but do drop me an email because I, I, I miss a lot of the comments and questions on here. So email is enquiries at debbieshawsewing.com. So drop me an email there and we will get you sorted out. No problem at all. Um, as a member, should I get notified of a sew along? It's always the last, n not a specific notification, Anna. We've started to put them on the newsletters. So the newsletters come out twice a month. So the newsletter that you'll get on the 15th will say what you need for the sew along, for the next sew along. Otherwise, I put a paste, a, a paste, a post on Facebook and I do send messages to anybody who subscribes on YouTube. I know they don't always come through. Um, Bernadette's machining her wings. Absolutely fine. That's not cheating. It's just a different look. So that's as far as I've got there. So I'm going to tie my knot in between the two pieces so you don't see it. Put that out of the way. And I did say we'd do a little cross stitch, didn't we? I'm just going to put one stitch in one side. Because that's like a little kiss. And just not that on the back. could put another piece of felt over the top of that if you didn't want to see the stitches on the back. So that's that. So let's put this thing together. So you've got your ribbon. I'm going to put one piece of ribbon around here so it looks like a, a little headband. So we'll need some wet glue for this and I'm using HT2. So let's get this out. A little bit of glue drizzled across here. And just wrap that around towards the top. So don't put it straight across the middle because she, she needs to have eyes. Just wrap that around there, that'd be fine. Glue that down there. And then we'll need another loop of ribbon for the, let's put this together first. Yep, that goes on the back of there. So, I'm just going to put the lid back on that before it all dries up, because it tends to happen, doesn't it? I'll need another needle and thread. Still got that left, that'll do little silver coronet. Oh, that's a nice idea, Deidre. She's made a little silver coronet instead of a headband. Lovely idea. I sh uh, absolutely, yes, Chris, should have done the cross first, shouldn't I? And then join them together. That was, uh, my, my cross was an afterthought. So yes, jolly good idea. Um, the quilt suitable for a beginner. I haven't got a clue, but would love to learn. The, the kits are, the, it's just the fabric. So your instructions are on the Half Yard Club, that, so it, it's not actually a complete kit to make it. Um, the blocks, have a look ne next Thursday when we launch it. Um, we'll put it. I'll put a picture on Facebook anyway. I'll do a quick Facebook Live at some time, I don't know what time that'll be, and I'll show you the actual quilt. Um, and then you can decide whether you think it's going to be a, a challenge or not. They do have comprehensive step-by-step -step instructions and all the pattern pieces are going to be there as well. But all of that on the Half Yard Club, they, the, the bundle that you, you, if you're going to buy it, is just the fabric for the top of the quilt. I will let you know how much fabric you need for the back and how much wadding. Can't remember off the top of my head. Right. So let's fold this over by about that much. Um, oh, I've left my little ruler down at the house. I'll use my big one. So by one and a half inches. And again, that's um, the top of the fabric. So make sure you've got, if you've got a directional fabric, it's in the right direction. 
and then these two pieces we're going to fold over until they join so that makes the little jacket and we'll sew this now again if you don't want to hand sew you could um, you could glue it um, or I think it might be quite nice to add a little button there so I'm just going to go across those two pieces just to hold them together Oh, Jean's not very well, going through tissues like I've got shares in the company. Oh, oh I hope you're better soon. Well, thinking of you. Um, Jane said, this year's block of the month is my first ever quilt and I love making it. Isn't that satisfying? Your first ever quilt and it was something as lovely as the one um, that we had for you this year. Okay, let's knock that off there. And do that. So I'm just going to finger crease that. You might want to. Oh, no, let's iron it. Let's just iron it. Let's do it properly. That's better. Uh, Catherine joined last week. This is her first sew along. Welcome along, Catherine. Um, just watching today, she says. Oh. That's that. Then we'll make the loop of ribbon to go in the back here at this point. You can make that as long as you like. Mine's about eight inches. And that's going to be glued into the back of the neck. Just here. There. So let's do that. And then another one there. I'm going to get very gluey now. It takes ages to get this glue off your fingers. So is that twisted? I'll be fine. And then I think we'll do the face next. So all I'm doing here, whoops, is with a biro, two little dots just under here. You could um, mark those with um, an erasable pen first just to make sure that you're happy with the positioning. So nice, uh, French knots would look nice there as well. And then I've got some just cheap blusher. I don't wear this colour, I just keep this for this type of thing. And I'm just going to dot a little bit of blusher on the cheeks. And it does kind of brush off if you think you've got it a little bit too, a little bit too much. And that's quite sweet. So a round circle mouth to make the... Uh, that's a nice idea. Should we do it? I'm, I'm going to do it with the erasable first just to see what it looks like. Hmm. I like it without. Um, I think if I was if I was doing a mouth, then a little uh, closed eyes would look nice, wouldn't they? So, because I like I like the idea. So, if that was if that's the face, you could have your little eyes like. Oh, if that's the face, and that's the headband, I I'd have little eyes like that. Ha happy little closed eyes. What do you think? A bit bright up there, aren't we? Happy little closed eyes and a singing mouth. I like that idea. Right, then this is going to go on there. So again, let's make sure it's the right way round. I'm determined to get every last drop of glue out of this thing. There we go. Yeah, do be careful if, if, if you're buying HT2 glue, um, do make sure to put the lid on straight away because it does tend to spill a little bit it carries on seeping after you finish squeezing <laughs> that sounded awful didn't it seeping after squeezing that will do so lid on and we're going to sit this over the top of the neck there so just so that it covers the uh, the gathering stitches at the back Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Head to one side. 
like that. And then the final thing to do is to pop the wings on. And they just sit on the back like that. So again, a little bit of glue down the middle. <laughs> I think I might need a pin in the end of this. Oh, there we go. A little bit of glue down there. And that goes straight in the centre of the back. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue underneath here as well. And again, you could sew that on if you didn't want to use loads of glue. Or if you don't have loads of glue. And there's another one finished. Aren't they sweet? Oh, Lisa, you could do... I like your singing idea. You could do... Um, maybe uh, a whole row of them with different expressions on their faces, couldn't you? That would be a nice idea. Uh, closed eyes, open mouth would look like Cartman from South Pole. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm laughing anyway. I'm laughing anyway. Um, oh, has Jean fallen? Oh, no. Oh, Jean, I hope you're getting over that now. She had, a, she had a bad fall in April and sat in my chair for five months. Then was allowed to walk again. Oh, Jean, I bet that was boring. Um, Elsie's going to go and make a dozen. Oh, angel bunting. Angel bunting would be a lovely idea, wouldn't it? Oh, I do like that idea. It's not quite dry yet, so I'm just being careful that everything doesn't fall off it. But yeah, I, I, I kind of like that. So I can't wait to see yours. If, you, if you're on Facebook, then do post some pictures, don't, well, won't you? I'd love to see how you've adapted them and what you're going to make with them. You could put hair on them. Um, maybe use just some strands of yarn and put some, some hair. That's fine. Um, Kasanya says, great example of why something could stand the test of time. Angel bunting. Yes, Deirdre's going to do angel bunting. Why didn't I think of angel bunting? That could have been one of your projects, couldn't it? I'm glad you like them, Laura and Lorraine. Thank you. Um, can I do a video for this, please? I can do a video for this. I think that would be a nice idea. Yes, definitely. Because then I'll, I'll yeah, put all the measurements and everything on there. Might not be today. Um, oh, you see the difference in sizes there as well. Look, these are the same size circles. Oh, oh Laura, just iron off. Um, but I folded that one over a little bit more. But that's, it kind of gives them character, doesn't it? Makes them just a little bit different. So heads at different angle and different expressions would work very well as well, I think. Um, Dawn's going to put names on, possibly. That's a nice idea. To, to stop seepage, gently squeeze the tube the opposite way. Does it, Michaela? I didn't know that. She has to stop seepage, squeeze the glue in the opposite direction. Genius. Thank you. Will do. Video, yes, please. OK, I should, I should. I don't know when, but I'll do a video of that. It won't take too long, will it? OK. Righty-ho, better go then, nearly 12 o'clock, videos to, to make and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you'd like to join the Half Yard Club, remember, do use that uh, discount code to, to get your free one month. That's welcome in capital letters. So lovely to have you on board. Don't forget, we do do gift vouchers if anybody wants to join us or buy one as a Christmas present. Um, you don't have to be a member to order those. Those are on the website. As soon as you go on there, you'll see that there. Um, I shall see you again. Do I have a CD of flash drives of projects that we bought? I don't actually, Elaine, no. Um, the, no, all the videos on YouTube are free. And no, no I, I, don't, I don't do that. I struggle to get the videos up. Oh, I don't know why, Julie. What happens? I don't know how I can help, but what happens? Um, thank you, Olive. She has lovely make today, Debbie. Thank you. See you on Wednesday. I shall see you then. Kept up until the gluing. She got rubbish glue. Oh, Susan. <laughs> um, maybe hand sew. All, all the gluing can be hand sewn. Right, so I should, oh, hair in mouth. I shall see you again on Wednesday at four o'clock in the afternoon. We were going to do a little bit more free motion embroidery and with a plique as well on Wednesday. And then. If you can't make it on Wednesday, I, sh I, sh I shall see you again next Saturday over on the Debbie Shaw Sewing Facebook page and YouTube, of course, as well. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. 
whatever it is you're up to. Uh, don't forget we've still got the sale on the website, on my website. Um, don't forget to put your codes in. So club members, remember, get 20% off. But you'll need to use two codes, your Black Friday code and your, um, your members code from Half Yard Club as well. So thank you, thank you, June, and thank you. Lovely so long, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thanks for joining me. You take care. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye-bye.